When you open Interaction Supervisor for the first time, you might wonder if you've come to the right place. The screen is almost blank. In a moment, we'll create a view to fill up this space. Focus first, though, on the top line. Here are the drop-down menus. Check out Help. There is lots of excellent information here that will answer your questions as you learn more about Interaction Supervisor. Below the drop-down menus, there is a row of icons. They are context sensitive, so they are only available on screens where you need them. For now, we're going to focus on the icon you use to create a new view. You can see this when you hover over the icon. Click on the icon and the new view selection window pops up. Your choices in this menu will be driven by the security access granted by your system administrator. Notice the tabs across the top of the box. Each tab represents a group of views available to you. Select the icon of your choice and your first view is created. Let's create another view. Click the New View button and select a different view. We've chosen a workgroup view and an agent view. We'll talk more about these statistics in future videos. Notice when the second view is created, it is tabbed on the bottom of the screen. Now let's create one more view for the list of historic reports. Now we have three tabbed views available. As you click on each tab, the view changes. Notice that if you right-click on a tab, you have the ability to rename the tab to a friendlier name. As we continue our tour of Interaction Supervisor, let's now look at what we can do with these views. Perhaps you'd like to move them around to create a dashboard of sorts. You can minimize them, pick them up and move them, or dock them in different locations around your screen. The layout is completely customizable. You can build yours differently than the supervisor across your call center builds theirs. When you exit at the end of the day, your view is saved and will be pulled up again tomorrow when you come back to work. Here's another fun part of our tour. Go to the View menu, select Slideshow and Full Screen. Sit back and watch as the system automatically flips through the views you've configured. This is a great tool to use to display statistics on a large screen for everyone in your call center to see. There are a couple of other nifty things for you to see in our tour. Notice our buttons at the top. Click on the Field Help button and then click on a field in a view. The system opens the help file specific to that field for you. This context-sensitive help makes it very quick to look up information. Other buttons and menus are context sensitive and will bring up other dialogues depending on what view you're in. Go back to the View menu and click Toolbars. Here you can select which toolbars and buttons should be visible and how they are arranged. See what I mean about Interaction Supervisor being sweet? However, we don't want you to overdo the traffic, so we're going to wrap up this tour now. In future episodes, we will dive into the details about the views and the statistics. We'll see you soon.